What's up guys? So a quick video about the manifestation process and how I manifested full payment of my student loans without paying anything. After I started to manifest, I didn't pay anything. Before that, I paid like $60 out of $106,000 and I used the manifestation process. In retrospect, I know exactly how I did it. While I was doing it, I wasn't so aware. So, but I want to detail the process to help you in your manifestation process so you can get use my example to manifest anything you desire as well i also have a cheat sheet master manifesto cheat sheet that you can purchase purchase for 11 11 and i'll click i'll put the link in my description box or in the comments so that you can use that tool as well to manifest anything you desire so here it goes so one day um you know I, i'm working right sorry my computer is messing up so I'm working and I, I'm on my computer at home and I'm like, listen, I have $106,000 worth of student loans. So the reason why I had so much in student loans is because, you know, I had a lot of stipends as a veteran. I had a lot of stipends that I really didn't even need that much in student loans. But while I was in school, I had this mindset, like, I'm going to be rich. I just intuitively knew I was going to be rich. Like, my ideas are going to make me rich. I was initially, like, let me take out extra and use that extra to, um, like, for a business. But I ended up just using it for a living and being able to take care of myself and my son while I was in school. Um, and it ended up totaling 106000 because... I was an out-of-state student for some time, and my benefits stopped, and, you know, a whole spiel. Anyway, so a year later, a year or so later, I'm, I'm working, but not enough where I really wanted to pay this $106,000, because, again, I never, ever wanted to pay it. I, I, well, I wanted to have an influx of money to be able to pay it. I never wanted it to be an issue. So anyway, so I'm like, let me research the laws. So I researched the laws to see what loophole was available for me as a veteran, as a federal employee, as whatever, to get out of paying full payment, you know, my student loans. Call it a spade a spade. You can talk about me if you want to about it, but that's how I felt about it. So I looked up the disability part of it, and it said, like, if you're disabled or if you find yourself unable to perform work because of a disability, 100% disability, you are eligible for full payment, full forgiveness of your student loans. I did not... Um, meet that criteria nor did i want to meet that criteria i didn't want to get hurt and be disabled so it entered my mind i thought about it i let it go i deferred my student loans in the process and i started working on i, I forgot about it not forgot about it but I, I removed it from my mind and started working on other things the universe after that set things in order in my life to help me to meet the criteria of full repayment forgiveness of my student loans, even though I wasn't aware of it. I started working on my VA disability claim and um, lots of things happened in my life. You know, long story short, a year later, I was granted 100% VA disability from for being a combat veteran and having post-traumatic stress disorder related to that. So I was like, okay, cool. Still didn't know that having this open doors for me that I and resources for me that I did or wasn't aware of. So I'm sitting on the court on the porch one day with some associates and she tells me that she has all of her student loans forgiven. And I'm said I'm like, well how did you do that? And she was like, well I'm a 100 percent disabled veteran permanent in total. And I'm like, what? So I wasn't permanent in total at that time, but I was 100%. So I looked up the laws. She like, you're not eligible. I'm like, well, let me check myself. So I checked myself and comes to find out based on their, the Department of Education criteria, I meet the criteria to have full student loan forgiveness. So I give, I gather my paperwork. I submit it to them. It's like a five minute application, really easy. And a few months go by, full payment on my student loans forgiven all 106,000 it's like when I put that thought out into the universe I spoke it the steps to manifest it started happening like but I was working on something else not knowing that what I was when I was working on my claim it was opening the door for me to manifest full payment of my student loans as well you see when the universe sees a loophole the universe gathers your resources and, and says 
okay, we can work with her to make this happen because she has this, 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 and this. Have you ever needed money for a vacation or needed money for something and you have a car accident that happened to me twice? I needed money for something and the universe used my vehicle and insurance policy or the insurance policy of the person who caused the accident uh, to grant me with the money that I needed. And I didn't get hurt. So that's also another thing that I teach in a mass manifest cheat sheet. Be specific how you want things to manifest because it can manifest. That's why when I said I wanted full payment of my student loans without an additional disability or being hurt additionally than what was already, you know, damaged within me, I was clear about that because I didn't want to manifest or speak something into my life that I wasn't prepared for. It. So you have to be careful um, when you ask for something, when you're trying to manifest something that you're very specific so that you don't open a can of worms that eventually leads to you getting what you desire but comes at a cost with something else. So if you want more details on how you can use the manifestation process to manifest anything you desire, um, that sounded easy, but it took a year, you know, and it took me following the step and it took me trusting. I was in very good energy when I was manifesting as well. But anyway, if you want more information, click the link in my description and, and download the Master Manifesto um, Cheat Sheet. It's only 1111 and I charge 1111 for it because it's a C. I only want to work with people who value the information enough to pay for it. If you want free information, you just, you can research or sometimes people don't value free information or services but when you sow a seed it's like sowing a seed into the universe knowing that you can co-create and partner with the universe to manifest your desires so thank you for watching this video if you have any questions put it in the comments i'll be happy to answer any questions you may have but if the answer is in the cheat sheet just download the cheat sheet and you'll know exactly what it takes to manifest anything you want now timing can't control that. If I ask for a million dollars, then it can be manifested, but is it going to happen tomorrow or is the steps I'm going to be taking along the steps required for me to manifest that million? And I'm currently manifesting that right now. I know it's going to happen. I've been manifesting it since college that I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be rich. I actually wrote down like 10 things on a list one day while I was before college and almost everything on that list, about 80% has manifested. Next thing that manifested, it was, I was like, give back and be rich, get rich. So it's coming, it's manifesting. But anyway, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I wish you love, light, and more life. Peace. Visit AshleyGillard.com to order your Master Manifesto Cheat Sheet.